Hello, hello, hello. I'm happy to be back with you again. Um, I am recording this on Tuesday, April 26th in Pacific time at 10 a.m., a little after 10 a.m. And um, I wanted to share with you about what's going on. And we have come through that passageway that I've been speaking about for several months since January 21st. And so we've come through this passageway period uh, and people started coming through it. It's kind of people are kind of coming through on their own pace, in their own way. But people started coming through and feeling the shifts uh, beginning on Friday the 22nd. Um, and then we had uh, some some bigger shifts related to kind of an, a widening, if you will, the opening of it overnight between the 22nd and the 23rd. And then some really um, kind of a much wider moving through or larger moving through on the 23rd. And I'll describe some of the happening around that later. But first, what I want to say is that now where we're at, your gifts for this side of the passageway will start dropping in from this new golden timeline that you wove for yourself and that you slid through the passageway on. So there are little gifts. They're little like it's... um. They're not for you to go find. They're going to just drop in is what I keep seeing, like this little image of just this little like bloop, and then that sort of drops in and then opens uh, within you or in front of your eyes, so to speak, um, as we're kind of going along. And in particularly in this next few days, a bunch of that is going to be happening. And the guidance that I want for you to hear in these few days of this week in particular is that the best thing you can do this week, and you'll find the energy really supports this, is to be taking actions where you're taking actions, because most of us are taking actions of some sort all the time, where you're taking actions to direct those to be in support of the new gifts and the dreams that you've been coalescing. This is an opportunity now on the other side of the passageway and as we move forward for a even more heightened opportunity for the energetic entrainment of matter. The vibe now is of like breaking new ground, of pioneering, of fresh energy, of the new things that you are creating. This is really what, in a, in a kind of a, a larger sense, what we've been talking about for quite some time around the Evo Leap being the entirely new thing that you came here to be. And more clarity and gifts around that are coming in for you now at this time. And the all, and there's nothing for you to need to do um, other than, as I said, where action can essentially be in support of those new gifts or those dreams that you've been coalescing, any kind of new intel that's coming in that, that feels really good. You want to build this new on a strong foundation. So this week is very much kind of a foundation week where action is and it is very free and easy and liberated for um, creating that strong foundation uh, for where you're going. And for a bunch of you, this is going to actually be about new entrepreneurial directions um, and, uh, and, and or creative directions, some of which you've had sort of a sense of, but maybe it wouldn't come into clarity and that's going to start coming in. Or for some of you, it's going to be just a, oh, oh, I'm not doing that. This whole time I've been sort of pushing and making, trying to make this other thing work. I'm not doing it. I'm done. I'm over. It's over. Um, where we're going now is we're going to have significant more kind of PowerPoints and inflection points and increased acceleration of energies. It's important to understand that the primary function of the passageway was to prepare the biology to be able to handle the accelerated energies. So it's in many ways was kind of a like hanging out and waiting in some regards. And what is it that prepares the biology to be able to handle the higher energies? I hear you asking. So that is happening on many different levels. On one, on one level, it's, 
it's kind of physically, literally, what are you doing to support your body and to listen to your body? And so that may have things to do with kind of what are you doing around movement? Um, what are you, or physical kind of capacity? What are you doing around what you're eating? Those kinds of things. Um, but then also the biology very much radically immediately affected in its capacity by the degree to which we're holding on to kind of density or yuckiness or gunkiness. Um, in, in all forms. And so that's why, so we've all been having various experiences throughout the passageway of kind of more kind of scraping away the kind of the barnacles or the gunk, the, and the kind of that sharpening, you're being sharpened now, that message very much around the kind of whittling away of what is no longer in service of what you are becoming. So I want to um, share a little bit specifically about a couple of things that have happened recently um, as we have been moving towards the end of the passageway because they are useful pieces of information for you going forward. So I spoke recently about the um, removal of uh, interference energy is what I call generically what I call kind of energy that is impeding uh, or interfering with evolution and with uh, particularly the evolution of humanity and kind of your evolution, my evolution in the biolo biological form that we're in. So we had this kind of recent removal of interference energy on April 13th that I spoke about. Um, and we had another big round of this um, on the night of April 22nd, around 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. I mentioned that because if you think back to wh whatever was going on at that particular time in your time zone, um, whatever that kind of corresponds to in your time zone, you may realize, oh yeah, I felt... A much, uh, I felt much lighter suddenly at that time, or I had been feeling kind of like, Ugh, and then I just kind of was buoyed, or I had a new piece of intel come in, or I had some new energetic thing occur, or whatever. Um, many people have reported that already to me in various different ways, and so it's very interesting to notice that direct um, correspondence for people. Um, okay, now you may be working on removing interference energy personally, still some of the stuff that was removed at a larger scale, but it should get easier now. So what, a, what the, the removal of interference energy on April 13th, as I spoke about that energy at that time, um, in my experience of it was, uh, very much alive. Like it was, it, it was experienced as sort of an active battle. The experience on April 22nd was um, uh, where I was supporting another around this and all of this came sort of to light, so to speak, um, was no longer, it was already dead energy, but it was like eons and eons of encrustation uh, to be removed. And not for the person that I was supporting like that. They had their own specific thing going on. But what I became aware of is that this wasn't just about them, the clearing for them, um, that it was another layer of this interference energy being removed for the planet and then also for humanity. And so the experience for the humans as you are working through your own personal removals of this interference energy um, uh, and in, in its dead form um, is essentially one of, hmm, how do I want to say this? So, I mean, really it's very much like entombment. So it's like, your body in a giant stone sarcophagus, then buried with a bunch of layers of kind of concrete or stone around it. And the removal of the interference energy it involves the cracking open, the cracking open and the kind of shaking off and breaking open of 
those kind of pieces of concrete, the pieces of the sarcophagus, the kind of the breaking off of it and shaking it away and then peeling back and peeling away the inner layers of that sarcophagus. Um, uh, I think I'll create um, actually probably a specific guided journey to support people around this because this isn't everybody listening that needs this. Um, and I don't want to go deep into it here. It's not useful to so many. But essentially then there is this particular piece is useful to everyone. So then within, if you're feeling any sense of I want, to, I want some of this cleansing um, or this removal, I feel some of this interference energy still, kind of the dead weight of it, I want it removed, I want you to lean into the idea of um, like if you look at a clear quartz crystal, you imagine a clear quartz crystal in your mind's eye. Visualize the energetic of that beautiful clear quartz crystal turning into liquid. And also kind of turning into a mixture of like a liquid that's also like a gas in a weird way. Uh, or like a steam. And that that is comes invited by you within to your very being and kind of moves inside you. And it's these little tiny, it turns into these little tiny kind of effervescent bubbles of kind of liquid quartz energy. And is a little bit like how hydrogen peroxide kind of bubbles when it's, when you put it on like a cut and where there's a little kind of, you know, infected or open area and it'll do that little like little bubbling kind of fizzing kind of a thing. It's like that. So the quartz, the liquid clear quartz energy bubbles inside you and where it finds any kind of, um, interference, old interference energy to remove, it goes into a little bit of a, like a fizzy action to, to just kind of remove that, right? Like, right. And it just kind of bloop, cleanses that out. So we also then are having now this, I've been sort of witnessing this and experiencing some of this myself starting on Saturday, um, the 23rd, um, which was when I started. So, okay, sorry, back up. So this removal of, uh, significant, uh, albeit dead interference energy on the night of Friday, the 22nd, then overnight, like and immediately, but then overnight, like opened up the passageway to make it really um, like the tons and tons of beings started flooding through. Now, everybody still had to go through their eye of the needle, but it was like, it was as if there was like suddenly instead of just like a few kind of going through at a time or like everybody had to kind of share an eye of the needle. Of course, that's not true. Um, it was just sort of like gazillions of these little passage points all of us at the same time began to be activated. And there was this incredible, um, it really brought back the energy from February of the Golden Lights Jubilee Festival energy. And I actually that night listened to, um, to that transmission several times just because it was so on point for the energy I was feeling that night, that just the incredible, beautiful joy. So I'm really encouraged to go back and look for that. Um, I think it's called like Golden golden lights festival jubilee or something like that that energy super beautiful super on point for as we kind of came through over the weekend um and just so many so many people coming through and kind of popping through on the other side so then on saturday um with that huge like okay you know everybody's kind of over here on the other side and orienting to it in different ways I was experiencing these expansions. So I was experiencing bones feeling lighter in weight, um, not in a way that made them not as strong. In fact, in a way that made them stronger, but lighter. Don't have a lot more to say on that other than that it had something to do with kind of a shifting related to the crystalline structures in the bones. And then an expansion in the rib cage and an expansion in, um, the cranial bones. I'm just making of space. So, and, and that felt really amazing and it felt really wonderful. And I just, it just felt really beautiful. And so I want to, I want you to ha be able to kind of tap into that for yourself. Um, and you may have different kinds of versions of that. Also on Saturday was experiencing kind of this, mm, support with earth 
um, that was this kind of sifting, cleansing experience for earth. And it felt very much like I was holding earth in my hand, in the palm of my hand, and slowly, it was as if I had like put my hand down into a kind of a lower space where earth was in, um, like maybe sort of like a liquid or a dust. I, I don't quite know the word to use for this visually, but basically kind of down to where earth was. And then my hand underneath her picking her up. And as I was picking her up, it was like that, like the muddy water was flowing away because she was coming up out of the water. And so the muddy water was flowing out of her. And then just this kind of cleansed, uh, clear, uh, mud-free and sort of water-free, so much lighter version of her, nothing against water, was then available. Like this sort of like totally cleaned, uh, cleansing energy for earth. And it was also, it reminded me quite a bit of like images of like sifting for gold, right? Kind of panning for gold where sort of like the gunk falls out. And then what you have left, uh, um, you know, is the, you know, the, the little chunks on top, um, or like straining out pulp from a juice, you know, that you might make and you don't want to be drinking the pulp. So you kind of strain it out. It was very much like that for the entire earth, but you know, kind of that being just whoop, pulled up and out and all of that mud water just sort of sluicing out, right? And this energy is important for you to tap into now around the sort of the straining and the sluicing out of the dead interference energy that's within us because we have this, all of us have layers of this. Um, just, we've just been steeping in it here in, in the current times of the planet and humanity. And, um, there's a similar experience that kind of earth was having with this kind of sluicing out that's similar to the way our bodies remove toxins. And so again, thinking about physical, mechanisms for how the body removes toxins is a really useful place to kind of lean into if you want to be thinking about how do I support or you're hearing from your body some ways to use the bio, the bio, the body to support the kind of removal um, and the kind of additional cleansing and the additional kind of next level of capacity for your human container, so to speak, to kind of continue to access experience, integrate these new accelerated um, high, high, high frequency energies coming in. And so thinking about the ways in which our bodies remove toxins is really useful and important. And how sometimes if there are many toxins to remove all at once, it can make you feel a little sick for a little while. You know, that kind of like detox flu kind of thing that people sometimes experience or Herxheimer effect. Um, and all of that is just simply a function of the body can't quite keep up with how quickly a bunch of gunky old dead shit is moving out of the body. So it's not a process to fight, uh, if you will, when it's occurring. It's not like, oh, I have to fight back against this. It's like, how do I support it to occur? And that's kind of in the moment, but also the longer game is how do I support the kind of ongoing removal of the gunky dead stuff and the toxins in a way that doesn't create those kind of mini crashes um, or herxing effects. And this is true both energetically and emotionally um, as much as it is true physically. And that is really a big part of this new passage, this new phase that we're in, sorry, on the other side of the passageway. We're in a new phase and it doesn't mean that like, woohoo, we're all done. Like that's, sorry, that's, you know, if that's what you thought, bad, bad news. Um, but also good news because we're in the capacity now for a different way of that ongoing removal of toxins, of interference, energy, of gunkiness. And, um, and we want to step into essentially what is that lifestyle choice, um, around how to have that ongoing support. Uh, and instead of, it's just like, oh, I'm going to go on a retreat and I'm going to remove it once, you know, or I'm going to go to the spa and get like a big clay mask all over my body and that'll remove it once and I'm done. Mm, nope. Sorry. It, what's the lifestyle choices now for you to make and to begin to commit to and to devote to where you have daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, however you want to think about it, practices, um, 
and kind of menu items, if you will, for yourself, where you are ensuring and devoting to that kind of ongoing cleansing, ongoing nourishment, ongoing being as clean and clear and transparent of a vehicle for your cosmic self as possible. Because this is really the calling now. To become as clean and clear and transparent a vehicle, a conduit, a portal, a partner, a collaborator, a co-creator of and for and with your cosmic self. And any uh, understanding, experience, language that you have about how your cosmic self is related to source, the divine, you know, the universe, whatever your language is about any of that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what our mental models are about that. However, you experience that and your cosmic self as an expression of that. So one of the things now to do around that, in addition to this creating what is your lifestyle focused on this um, and then what is your income generating strategy that supports that lifestyle those two things very important then the third thing is to pull back or reclaim your magic that you have put out to others and in the world where you have unnecessarily left it there this happens all the time I've done this many times and I periodically have to go through this process myself. You don't have to leave your magic with people when you send it to help them or give it to help them. Pull it back. It's done its job. Bring it back to you. So pull your magic, all your little magic bits back into you. Feel them kind of flowing back in and feel how your own magic is like, oh, there you are. I missed you. Like these little fractals of your magic coming back in and your own magic getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it is kind of just sort of nourished by its own self coming back together. And then related to this is to reclaim, call to yourself to complete value exchanges where there wasn't actually an exchange. So where did you give out value in your life, in your world, in your connections without an, an appropriate, and this would be with humans, without an appropriate ex reciprocal exchange coming back to you? Now, there are many, many, many entirely benign reasons that you would do that. Nothing to regret, not talking about any of that. And you are to receive back the value exchange that is commensurate with what was given. So seek that now. Just simply close your eyes. If they're not already closed, sometimes people close their eyes listening. Close your eyes. Think about a few places just recently where you have given value to others. Mm -hmm. And maybe you felt super great about that. There's nothing wrong with it. And it was incredibly wonderful value. Focus on those, right? And now value related to that, commensurate at the same level, reciprocal to that, should come back to you and just intend for that to then return to you. It's not taking any of the value away from them. It's not about taking it back. That's not what's happening. It's a loop. You gave a bunch of value out and now a correct amount of value energy comes back to you in that loop. You're closing the loop. This is very important. And there's many, many layers in this um, that we don't have time to go into and that like it's sort of deep work and, and learnings and teachings, but, and this relates to money energies as well, but it's essentially there should be a loop. And when the loop is not closed, then it leaves these like weird open spots that are not necessarily beneficial to you and potentially over time, not actually that beneficial to the other party, although that can be mixed and that can be complex. So you want to close that loop and understand that that at a minimum does nothing, is neutral, 
impact on those where you gave value, but potentially also supports them, but certainly it completes for you. And what it does for you is it, it both brings back in or brings, yeah, it brings in correct kind of new value energy for you to resource and support you. But also it's like it, mm, like a space was being held open inside your capacity for that place where you put out waiting. It was like a, like, like a parking space that was being blocked off waiting for that car to return and you couldn't use the parking space for anything else. So now the block on the parking space is removed. So now that parking space within you can be used for anything, right? Or like a, like a, like a, on the highway, you know, the lane was being closed off um, waiting for it to return. And so now the lanes are all open as you bring this back and you can just go zooming down on many of these lanes and, and just go zooming forward in your, in your being and in your, in your next phase. It's very important. So in, in kind of towards the end of this here, this, this, this share for today, the new gifts that are dropping in and opening up within you now that you've come through the passageway these are like seeds that are sprouting within you, right? And certainly this is a time of year in the Northern Hemisphere anyway, where we have a lot of kind of in general every year, we have this feeling of like, ooh, new seeds are sprouting. Like, yes. So there's that layer of seasonal, but this is an entirely bigger level, an entirely bigger kind of, you know, uh, yeah, I'll just say that. It's just much more amped up. It's souped up. It's, you know, exponentially larger than kind of our quote-unquote typical seasonal springtime. Oh, new, new, new seeds are sprouting. And if you're in the southern hemisphere and you're moving into fall, like it's, this is, then you can ignore the seed sprouting piece. The gifts are coming in wherever you are on the planet. It's not seasonal. But the seeds piece is, uh, could be useful to you, uh, if, if you cannot be too literally tied into whatever's going on seasonally for you. Um, and then also you may, as a result of all that's going on right now, feel an increased pull towards liquid chlorophyll and D3, um, in your, it, it, at, at higher levels, um, in your daily. So feel into that for yourself and, you know, sort of one day to the next can be, can change quite a bit. Um, but you may find that that is really, really useful. So, okay. So remember that you've got your new gifts are opening up, let them open up, pull your magic back, close the loops and return back to yourself. The exchange value where you have given out value without reciprocal return energy. Um, and thinking about what is the new lifestyle design and the new potentially kind of income generating design related to the, this new phase of devotion to being as clean, as clear, as transparent, a portal, a channel, a conduit, a container for your cosmic self, for the divine through you. And, um, and then also really enjoying that golden jubilee energy, go back and enjoy that golden jubilee energy, tap into that at any time in these next few days if you are feeling a little heaviness. Um, and remember that quartz liquid energy, that bubbling, alive, um, a sentient energy that's supporting the removal of any of the dead interference uh, kind of toxins left behind from the recent removal. And the last... Yeah, this is important. I can't wait for another one on this. Okay, so one last piece. So the last piece is that I want you to be aware and understand that the that we're not we're not it's not like we're done, right? So we'll move through the passageway. We're in this pre-dawn of a new golden age. This is a long time coming, and this is a long process for kind of the sun to fully rise, to use the metaphor of pre-dawn, right? So we're in that period, and it's amazing. There are going to continue to be periods or phases for you individually and for kind of the collective and for the planet as well um, of additional removal of gunk. 
And that may be interference energy. That may just be kind of like your own gunk, like whatever, you know, however you want to think about that. It doesn't matter. Um, and as we're going through that, we want to build up our capacities, as I mentioned earlier, to kind of build that into our lifestyle. So it's an ongoing thing that we're just kind of like, la, 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 I go along. I, uh, you know, I clean the kitchen floor regularly instead of waiting for it to get really gross and do it, you know, every four weeks where I'm on my hands and knees scrubbing because I didn't do it. Right. Like think about it from that perspective that it just becomes part of how you're kind of caring for yourself going forward during this fit, during this big phase. Um, that we're in now, but also be aware that while you are cleaning and clearing and you are in the open delight and in the, I see more and I see more clearly and I experience the golden Jubilee, beautiful energy. And this opens me and it opens my heart and it opens my goodwill and my love and my compassion and my incredible joyfulness and my wanting to be an absolute connection with all things and all beings. Be aware that there are still, if you will, monsters lurking in the deep. And I don't want you to be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Okay, It's not a fear thing. It's a discernment thing. You're at a level of, if you will, energetic or spiritual maturity that you can understand that not everything is always as it seems. And this doesn't have to be destabilizing to you and that you have the discernment and you can develop even greater discernment to realize, oh, that cool, beautiful, shiny, amazing thing that I thought was going to be really helpful to me um, actually is designed to fuck with me. It's designed to bring me down. It's designed to lower my resonance, lower my vibe, and dim my light. Don't let anybody dim your light is really the final sort of takeaway on this, okay? And it's your job to tend to your light, no one else's. You know that, but sometimes we need to be reminded. <laughs> okay? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love you. I love you. I thank you for your light in the world, magical, luminous beings, all the beautiful things that are occurring. <sighs> good times coming. Uh, all good times ahead. <laughs> Crazy and good at the same time. <laughs> Here we go.